It's been a few years since I've done the whole job searching thing and my interview skills have become rusty to say the least. It started with an online assessment from Amazon. I thought it was gonna be like riding a bike and although I didn't do terribly, I definitely struggled and didn't move on to the next round. I had a phone interview with Google coming up and I knew if I wanted to pass, I really had to buckle in and start grinding data structures and algorithm problems. Stick around until the end of the video and I'll let you know how it went. Now, normally I would just go on lead code and start doing random problems until my interview. But this time I wanted a little bit more structure to my interview prep. And since I only had a couple weeks to prepare, I wanted to be as efficient as possible. I wanted something that would give me a good breadth of problems so I'd be ready for anything the interview threw at me. I had heard of a list of questions people have been using called Blind75. If you've never heard of it, there is this website called Blind, which is basically an anonymous forum for tech employees. And someone posted a curated list of 75 lead code questions that covered core concepts and techniques for each type of question. Many people said they received offers from companies like Meta after completing Blind75. There have been other spin-offs to Blind75 like Neat code 150, which is basically the same thing, but with 150 questions. And then there's Grind 75, which was created by the same guy who made Blind 75. And he was basically like, I had no idea Blind 75 was going to blow up. It was just a list I quickly put together. So I made Grind 75, which is a more well thought out list of problems. So I figured it was probably better to attempt this list. There is a website that tracks your progress. And even though it's called Grind 75, there are up to 169 problems based on how many weeks you want to prepare for. Side note, if you're using the website to keep track of your progress, if you clear your cache, everything gets reset. I learned that the hard way. So I made this spreadsheet, which keeps track of all the problems I did. So I put a one if I completed the problem and an X if I attempted the problem, but I was not able to pass all the test cases. After about two weeks, I'd attempted 57 problems and completed 45. My main focus was the medium problem since that's generally the difficulty that you get in a phone interview. If I do have an on-site interview coming up, I will focus more on the hard problems because you're usually bound to get at least one of those in an on-site. And even if you can't pass all the test cases of a hard problem, as long as you have a, the correct approach, you'll probably be able to pass an on-site because you're usually just writing code on a whiteboard or on an, an editor which doesn't run code. So did I use any other resources? And yes. One thing is I watched mock interviews on YouTube and I feel like this helped me with not only just seeing more problems that get asked, but if you're watching a good interviewer, there are little tips and tricks that you can pick up on. And then I also went over the source material of a coding bootcamp I did a few years back since I have lifetime access to their material. This is the first time I didn't use cracking the coding interview. And that's because I think it's not a good idea to spread yourself thin across a bunch of resources. I think it's better to stick to one or two resources and kind of dive deep into those. So did Grind 75 help? Like I said, I haven't really interviewed for software engineer roles in like three or four years. So I was kind of curious to see what had changed. Do they ask different types of questions now? Are the questions harder? And no, <laughs> everything was pretty much the same. We just said hello and then we jumped straight into the problem without any introduction. I thought I did okay in the interview. I was able to solve the problem with an optimal solution, but I was a little slow. The interview had to guide me a couple times, which I don't know if that hurts my chances. The main thing was I just didn't feel sure of myself. Like I was saying things like, um, a lot. And I think like, oh, I think this should work instead of like, being more confident. So I think that's something I need to work on. I just didn't feel as sharp as I used to. And I think that's just because I have, I'm kind of rusty. But overall, the preparation helped. Uh, I've interviewed with Google several times now. I kind of know what questions they're going to ask. So I did focus a little bit more on those types of questions, but there are definitely things that I still need to clean up. The interview was about a week ago and I still haven't heard back. I emailed my recruiter a couple days ago and he said he's still waiting for feedback from a couple people which is like, I only interviewed with one person. Who are you waiting for feedback from? Anyways, it's Google. They always drag out their interview process. So if I do make it to the onsite, I will give you guys an update. So do make sure you're subscribed for that video. If I don't make the video, that means I didn't pass. So what are my next steps? Um, I do plan on finishing or attempting the rest of the problems for Grind75. I do plan to do a few more interviews. I definitely want to do mock interviews myself because 
Grinding a bunch of lead code problems does not equal performing well in an interview. You still need to clearly communicate to your interviewer what your approach is. So you're kind of on the same page when you start coding. That also gives them the opportunity to guide you in the right direction if you're ever struggling, but they can't do that if they don't know what approach you're taking. So I do wanna do those mock interviews because writing code and explaining out loud what I'm doing is it's not a natural thing for me or for most people. And it's something that a lot of people neglect when they're practicing, even though that's kind of a lot of times what they need the most practice with. So let me know in the comments if you guys have ever attempted a grind 75 or blind 75 or any type of eind 75. So that's my plan going forward. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, keep on coding.